Thank you for viewing this video today. I want to talk to you about the light. We are in the day of light. The people of God are, have entered into uh, the day of light, the fourth day. You know, it says that gross darkness is going to cover the earth. And if you watch any TV or radio or read any newspaper or magazine, you see that the darkness is everywhere. But Jesus says in, in John chapter 8, uh, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You know, this is something I think that we need to remember and encourage ourselves with, that Jesus is our light. And that as we walk in Him, as we walk in this Word right here, as we obey His commandments, then we're going to stay in the light. And the darkness shall not overcome us. Temptation shall not overcome us. You know, in um, uh, back in um, Matthew chapter 5, He says to His people, You are the light of the world. A city set upon a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl or a bushel. Instead, they put it on a stand so that all can see that God may be glorified and that Jesus will shine through you. You know, it says in Isaiah, rise up and shine and let the light, because the light is, is on you already. If you know Jesus today, if he's your Savior and Lord, then the light is already in you. And people need to see that. People are in darkness. They're stumbling. They're falling. They're making mistakes. They're entering into that temptation. But I want you to know today uh, that Jesus is our lighthouse. Behind me is the historic Tybee Lighthouse on Tybee Island, Georgia. It, it gave light to the ships so that they would not shipwreck. It showed them where the rocks were and where the places of danger uh, were. And let me say this, that the Word of God uh, is our light. And He will show us where the stumbling blocks are. He will show us so that we will not make mistakes. I don't know about you, but in my life, I, I've made some mistakes. And I don't like to make mistakes. I want to walk in the fullness of God. I want to walk in His light. I want to know that He is like this lighthouse. He's showing me the way. He is showing uh, me the, the stumbling blocks so that I don't have to walk in darkness. You know, it says in 1 John, if we walk in the light as He is in the light, then we will have fellowship one with the other. We will have fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ, and we will have fellowship with the Lord. You know, and that's so important to me, to be in His presence. And as I look upon this lighthouse behind me, I think about Jesus. I think about how He lights the way and how He wants to, to keep us from falling. You know, it says in the Scripture that He will keep us from falling. Hallelujah. You know, if you've made a mistake today, in Romans 8 it says, There is now no condemnation to those who are walking in the Spirit and not after the, the carnal, not after the natural. But they're walking in the Spirit. They're walking in the light. Uh, I, just, I just feel in my spirit today to pray for you that that guilt and condemnation, that spirit of evil that has tried to come on, on you, to tell you that you were not worthy of ministry, that you were not worthy uh, to have a relationship, uh, that God will heal you right now and take that, that, that condemnation and guilt away from you and that He will bring you peace and He will bring you comfort today and He will bring you light and show you the way out. You know, I pray for you today if you're sick in your body, uh, especially those with back problems, those with leg problems, uh, in Jesus' name, I speak to those muscles in your back and your legs to be healed, to be relaxed, to be peaceful in Jesus' name. I pray for those that need Jesus today. All you have to do is call upon His name. Just say, Jesus, I want you to be my Savior. He'll come right in. He'll bring the light with Him, and He'll show you the way. I thank you so much for viewing today. I pray that you will take hold of the light. And just as you're looking at this beautiful lighthouse, this historic lighthouse, that you will remember that Jesus always shows us the way. Thank you for viewing.